All right, today's video is how to pick a lock. We've got this standard toolbox here with a lock on the end. We seem to have forgotten the key, so we're going to open it. Let's take a look at our tools here. First of all, we got a pick that we made out of a cotter pin. We'll flatten the tip by grinding it down and then kind of hitting it with a hammer. It's super thin, right, so it slides into the keyhole. We'll just put a little taper on the end so it, this can uh, hit the tumblers once it's inside the lock. We also put it inside this rod here. There was a hole in it so we just put the cotter pin in and then glued it in place. Just for comfort. Secondly, you're going to need to turn the lock. And for doing that we made a torsion bar. This also came out of, uh, this was once a cotter pin. And we did the same thing, kind of flatten the tip so it fits in the keyhole and then just put a 90 degree on it. So once it's in the lock, we'll be able to turn it. Okay, that's all you're gonna need. So, James here is gonna show us how to do it. First he's gonna take that torsion bar and he's gonna put it, set it inside the lock and we happen to know this lock turns counterclockwise to open. So he's gonna put some slight pressure on that. And then he's gonna put that torsion bar in there with the tang up so he can feel the tumblers. Once inside, the tumblers, you'll be able to press up and down on them while keeping a slight pressure on the lock. And when those tumblers start to fall in place, you'll feel the lock actually move over really slightly to hold the locks, to hold the tumblers up. Once they're all aligned, the lock should uh, open freely. This takes some time as you have to feel it pretty gently. Because if you push too hard, the tumblers will get the tumblers will get locked in place and it won't be able to move. Yeah. Alright, it's coming in with a different angle on the torsion bar. Oh, there it is. All those tumblers lined up, and that spins free. And open. Thank you, James. <laughs>